Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this session, we will talk about the different use of super keywords in Dart. So without wasting time, let's get started. Super is the keyword in Dart. Uh, we can use super in two different ways. The first is the simple super that is super without any bracket. And second is super with uh, the opening and closing bracket that is using the pair of parentheses. Now let's talk about the simple super first. So let me delete this here. So whenever we talk about a simple super means uh, it is actually a keyword and the super is implicit reference that refers to the immediate super class. It means whenever we inherit uh, some super class in a subclass. So inside subclass we will by default or readily will delete a reference uh, such a reference that always refers to its immediate super class object. So if you have watched my video related to this. So there we have talked that this is the reference that refers to the current invoking object. So I can say a uh, super reference is very much similar to this reference. The only difference is this refers to current invoking object and super reference refers to the immediate super class object. Now the question is uh, what is the use of super? Super is used to access the members of super class inside the subclass. Means uh, we can make the use of super in order to call the methods of super class or to access the instance members of super class inside uh, the methods and the constructors of subclass. Now you might have a question by default uh, we can access uh, all the members of super class inside the subclass. Then why someone should use a super? So uh, we mostly use a super when we have uh, the method overridden or when we have a same name instance variables inside the subclass as well as inside the super class. So what will happen here uh, when we have same name for members inside the super class and subclass the subclass members will hide the super class members. So that's the reason whenever we access the members of uh, super class means we try to access that member. The members of by default subclass will be accessed and super class members will be uh, by default will be hidden. So to access that one we can make the use of super here. So let me explain that one with an example. We have class A and that contains uh, the instance variable x with the value 10 and we have a method test that is simply printing a message test of a called. So now uh, we have class B and as this class B is extending class A that's why A becomes a super class and B becomes a subclass. You can observe here intentionally in line number 10 I have the same uh, variable name as that of the uh, super class variable name. Uh, you might be thinking why I'm getting this line here. So what it, it is showing it is showing that I should write override annotation uh, for this x variable and it says that don't override the field means as per the Dart recommendation it's not recommend to override the fields of super class in a subclass but anyways just to understand uh, the use of super I'm doing here then in line number 13 I have uh, the method overridden here means I have redefined the method test of super class inside the subclass and here we have different message to print uh, say a test of default so if you don't know what is method overriding and what is that one I recommend you guys to go ahead and watch that video related to method overriding and we have uh, a method called show data which is simply printing the value of x and it is calling the method test. Inside the main we have the object of b here and over that object I have called the b dot show data. So let me run this program here. So we must say that inside the class b there are two x variables. One uh, that x uh, means one that b has and another which is coming from class a means there are two x variables. So you can observe here in line number 18 when I am printing the value of x the value of x is getting 20. It means 100% that here when I'm using x it is giving me access to the x variable of b not the x variable of a. This is because the x variable of b has uh, hidden means uh, it has uh, hide the x variable of a. Moreover if you observe in line number 19 when I'm calling a test method here. So I'm getting the output say test of b called. So uh, I must say there in class b there are two test method. One is uh, the test method of b itself and another which is coming from the class a. So the test method of B is hiding the test method of A. That's why I'm getting the output say test of B called. Now uh, let me explain the use of super here. So uh, as this B has got two X variables. So by default when I'm using X it is always giving me the access of the super class sorry uh, the access of the class B uh, X variable. But let's say I don't want to use the X variable of B even uh, I, don't, I want to use here the hidden variable that is the variable uh, X of the class A and that is the variable of super class. So what I need to do here, instead of writing x uh, here, I need to write here super dot x. So let me put the brackets and let me write here say super dot x. Now when I re rerun this program, you will observe here. So immediately instead of getting this x is equals to 20, you can observe here I am getting x is equals to 10. It means uh, I have now access to 
the x variable of a that is x variable of super class u. Uh, in the same way, instead of writing the test, if I write say super dot x, you can observe uh, means by default it is calling the test of b. But when I rerun the program by using this super dot test, you will observe here uh, now it is calling the test method of a class. Now let me talk about uh, some of the limitations that are there for using the uh, super keyword in the Dart. First point is using super, we cannot access the static members of super class. So as we know, in order to access static members of any class, we have to use class name dot method name. You can observe here in class A, we have a static variable called some data with the value 10. And inside uh, the show data of class B, I'm trying to use super dot some data. You can observe here a uh, data pad is giving me an error. So it is recommended or it's important that even if uh, we have access to super class means we can access the members of super class by using super inside the subclass. We cannot access the uh, static members of super class means to access the static members of super class inside uh, the subclass also we have to uh, use the class name dot member name. So if you ask me that what happens if I remove the super and if I try to call them directly you can observe here still I have a problem here. So means uh, I can't access the, those members not directly not by using the super. So it has to be used like say a dot some name and now it's fine here. Now the second and very important point is super keyword can only be used inside the generative constructor and non-static members of subclass. Means we cannot use super inside the static method or inside the factory constructor. Let's understand this example. Uh, we have a class A that contains uh, the integer x which is the field that I want inside the class and we have a method uh, sorry we have class B that extends A then inside this we have a method show data which is simply uh, just uh, trying to access the x variable and you can observe here there is no issue in my code but if I change this show data method from non-static to static so you will definitely find here uh, this method is giving me an error because it is not valid to use uh, super when my method is static here let me remove static from here and now let me focus on this factory constructor. You can see this is the generative constructor we have and this one is the factory constructor. So if you don't know what is factory constructor, I recommend to go ahead and watch the video related to factory constructor. It's really a nice video. You will find so many things about factory constructors. So you can observe here uh, this factory constructor is good to go. Means there is no problem with this factory constructor. Now let me uh, try to copy the same line uh, that is line number 7 here. Okay, I cut it out. Sorry. So uh, let me paste this line here. You can observe immediately the dart pad is giving me an error because I can't use super inside the factory constructor. So make sure that uh, super cannot be used inside a static method and not even inside the factory constructor. Most of the viewer ask me, can I use super inside the main method? I will say no, it's not possible because a uh, super keyword has to be used only inside the uh, subclass, uh, especially inside the non-static method and uh, the generative constructor. Okay, we can't use it inside the main method. Let me talk about the third point here. So as we know, using super, we can access the members of super class and super always uh, refers to the immediate super class. <laughs> Let me uh, talk this point again. It always refers to immediate super class not every super class okay and that's what i'm going to prove here you can observe we have class a that contains uh, x variable with value 10 i have the same variable inside the class b uh, with value 20 and i have again the same variable in class c with value 30. you can observe here i have created multi-level inheritance using class a b and c inside the class c we have method show data which is printing the value of x by using only x and then i'm printing the value of super dot x and in the main i have the object of c and over that object i have just called the show data so let me run this program and what you will observe here so the value of x is 30 and obviously because it is trying to get the value of x variable of the c class that's why i got 30 here that's fine and in line number 14 uh, for the super dot x i'm getting the 20 this is because for class c b acts as a super class means it's a, it's a immediate super class i'm sorry and that's why uh, I can use uh, the uh, x variable of b means whenever I use super dot b for b uh, sorry whenever I use super dot x uh, for class c b is a super class means it's immediate super class that's why I'm getting 20 here. So now if I want to access uh, the x variable of class a means if you observe in class c there are total three x variables one with value 30 which is the x variable of c itself second x having the value 20 which is the variable of b and third variable x is having the value 10 which is the variable of a here 
so uh, using x we can use the variable of c using super dot x we can use the variable of b but there is no way to access the variable uh, x uh, of class a you might have a question say just write here super dot okay let me write that one here say uh, super dot super dot x so immediately that file is giving me an error because it's not possible we cannot write that super dot super dot x so make sure that using super we can access only immediate super class we cannot go beyond the level of that immediate super class the last point is value of super cannot be modified means inside a subclass we can use super dot member name that's fine but any or any case you cannot change or you cannot modify the value of super because it's a by default uh, you can say it's a kind of non assignable expression you can uh, see error here it says illegal assignment to non assignable expression means you cannot write super is equal to something let me talk about super with bracket basically when we use super with bracket means we are trying to call the desired super class constructor from the subclass constructor so it is basically a topic called constructors in inheritance we have a special video regarding that topic so if you want more details or more knowledge about that one so go ahead and watch that video this is because uh, in this specific video i am not going to talk about each and everything that i have covered there i will simply go with simple means i will go with only one example here so those who want more details please go and watch that video just try to understand this example uh, we have class a that contains total three constructor the default uh, the name constructor and again uh, the name constructor then uh, we have class b that extends a that's why it becomes a super class and b is a subclass and b has got some constructor and inside the main i have the object of b here so as we know that uh, whenever we create the object of subclass before calling the constructor of subclass the uh, super class constructor is invoked first then uh, the constructor of subclass is called so by default it will only call the uh, default constructor that is it will call the uh, unnamed zero parameter constructor of super class means if i create object of b so before calling the constructor of b uh, the default constructor of a will be called and that type of call is known as the implicit call to constructor so however we can make this call explicitly so for this we can write here say colon and super so we can write here super so what does it means it means uh, just before calling the constructor of b it will try to call the super class constructor and as there is no parameter here so it will call the default constructor of a now instead of this default constructor if i just want to call say a dot sum name constructor so what i can do i can simply write super dot sum name so in this case uh, just before calling the constructor of b it will call the super dot sum name because i have just instructed this constructor that uh, instead of calling the default constructor simply call the super dot uh, sum name so it will call the a dot sum name and once it is finished it will come back to constructor and it will simply uh, just execute the body of uh, b's constructor moreover we can also pass the parameters inside this super dot something so let me write here say uh, super dot with parameter so as this uh, a dot with parameter requires the constructor you can see i'm getting error here so i need to write here say 13 or 20 so just basically i'm passing two parameters here uh, just to satisfy the value of x and y here so it's possible that uh, using super we can pass the parameters we can even call the uh, named constructor default constructor whatever constructor you want and based on the appropriate value and the type that constructor requires you have to pass that one so it makes a sense to use super uh, just to call the desired super class constructor from the subclass constructor that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really like the way i am explaining the concept and i'm teaching the things then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos